Hi friends, Mrs. Mountcastle here. I'm sure you've seen this incredibly cool book in the classroom, but have you actually dug into it and read a little bit? Well, I did today, and I wanna share some of it with you with more to come. All right, here goes. The Art of Curiosity. So, this page I think is perfect for our classroom because it says Curious Connections. By its very nature, curiosity defies limits, boundaries, and divisions. In the pages that follow, you'll meet a poet who loves Einstein, musicians musing on the science of vibrations, an engineer whose art interacts with nature, and many more people whose curiosity has taken them in unusual directions. This graphic chart just some of the ways the people in this book span unexpected disciplines as reflected through the Exploratorium's fundamental tenets. So you can see here all of these names all the way around the outside. These people are experts in different areas. And then, see all of them? They are connected just like you guys connect with each other on project. I wanna read one more thing to you before I let you go here. So this says, take a closer look. Noticing is one of the keys to curiosity. Make your own observations. Question your assumptions about what you already know by taking a second or even a third look. And this guy, his name is Frank Oppenheimer, and he was the founding director of the Exploratorium. And the Exploratorium is, is the reason for this book, really. So I'm going to read to you what he says. If in the course of some wandering, I come onto something delightful or exhilarating or beautiful or insightful, I want to tell someone else about what I have found. More than that, I want to bring them along with me to share what I have discovered, a view, a feeling, a person, or a book, or a new way of looking at physics, or at justice, or a new way of teaching relativity. It sounds just like you guys. And as we go through the next days, I'm going to be sneaking peeks at a lot a very interesting pages in this book. Stay tuned for more.